Today, we're in Colorado to visit one of the richest archeological zones in America that happens to be hidden amidst a grand Southwestern landscape. This is Mesa Verde National Park. Mesa Verde is roughly 40 minutes from the nearest town of Durango. After passing sweeping landscapes, we ascend to the top of Mesa Verde National Park. We made it to the viewpoint. Look at this. We're in the Four Corners region of the U.S. Ooh. A UNESCO World Heritage Site. Look at this expansive this view. view. We haven't seen the complexes themselves yet, but the trip's worth it for just this view. If you like these views as much as we do, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. As we look out onto the Colorado landscape, there's simply nothing of modern life in view. And it's easy to imagine the original Pueblo people of Mesa Verde about 1400 years ago, long before Europeans explored North America. The ancestral Pueblo people made Mesa Verde their home. We're about to go visit their elaborate cliff dwellings right now. After a brief stop at the visitor center, our first stop is the Cliff House, a magnificent cliff dwelling that once housed approximately 100 people in 150 rooms. We arrive at the Cliff Palace right at sunset and the entire area is illuminated. It's thought that the Cliff Palace was a social administrative site with high ceremonial usage. The area was constructed of sandstone, mortar, and wooden beams. Welcome to... Mesa Verde. Beautiful shot at sunset. It's all lit up. We are 7,000 feet high. Okay, you almost need binoculars for this, but look right there. There's a house. It was believed that the ancestral Puebloan villages were built into the cliffs as defense against invading groups of ancestral Navajo and Apache. For 700 years, they flourished and farmed here and even had extensive trading routes that spread throughout North America. In the cliffs, you'll notice large round rooms. These are called kivas or ceremonial rooms. The fact that these structures are still intact is a testament to their skillful construction. We're at Mesa Verde National Park and UNESCO World Heritage Site. And right across from us is the Hemingway House. Blends right into the landscape. Look at this expansive land. There's absolutely nothing of modern day in sight. And the native peoples made homes, made dwellings into the rock. So it's really unique. Catching magic hour vibes here in Colorado. This is an interesting depiction of what the dwellings look like but a lot of these pathways are closed, so we can only see them from the viewpoints and not go inside. Okay, some things to know about this area. One, it's really dry here, especially in summertime. Two, there's a lot of motorcyclists because they have really cool roadways for motorcycles. So they have a lot of motorcycle guys. And wow, <sighs> the views here are just stunning. It's a similar kind of ecology to what you see in the Grand Canyon. But as you can see, there is nobody here. Nobody here. Wow. We're doing a mile and a half hike to the balcony house. Can you guys hear that? It's the sound of silence. Ooh. Ooh. 
nobody around for miles and miles. We have made it to the Balcony House Overlook Mesa Verde National Park and World Heritage Site. It's right over there. Can you see it? You need an eagle eye. So Let's cool. see, we're gonna zoom in. Oh wow. And the color right now, this light, the balcony house. It's so quiet here. Nobody's here. Look at this view. There's bluebirds flying. It's just gorgeous. And look at the color. We made it just in time for magic hour. In the late 1200s, in the span of a generation or two, the ancestral Puebloan people moved away and left their homes. No one knows exactly why. These cliff dwellings weren't found until the late 1800s. Talks about the Anazi children with their daily lives here and their house. It was very kind of narrow and cramped there. Perched right into the cliff. And look at this view that they had. Colorado's Mesa Verde National Park is one of the most fascinating archaeological sites we've seen and also one of the most peaceful national parks. We hope you get a chance to visit it very soon. Don't forget to hit the like button down below, share with your friends, and subscribe for many more travel videos.